The following is an exclusive presentation of the NCCU Sports Network. Which right as he will put total leather and we're underway. Very short kick high to the far right side. It'll be caught at about the 17-yard line and fumbled and picked up at the last second. Nearly a disastrous return there. Run that time by the quarterback, number 15, Malcolm Ben. Here we go, fourth and one, pistol formation. Hand off to Herb Walker. Walker trying to get to the outside. He will not get it. Jeremy Thompson with the big stop on fourth down. And the Walter paid award candidate shoved all the way back inside the 31-yard line. Fantastic job by Jeremy. Shedding off a blocker and meeting Herb Walker in the backfield had no chance. Once Jeremy got his arms around him, he wasn't going to let him go. A huge stop. State Bears, they're wearing orange today. There's a dump off that's tipped up should in the be air. A that's ball. a fumble, it and be. it's going to be picked up by Jeremy Thompson. Yes. It was a dump off that's going right. backwards to the running back, Orlando Johnson, and it is tipped in the air and picked up, and the Eagles will have it. That yep. should be a fumble because it was going backwards on that play. That's the right call. It was, and that'll be a turnover if they don't change their mind here. Lee Hall, the head coach for Morgan State, can't believe it, but it was a backwards throw. Here's a little dump down the middle to the tight end for Morgan State. Fumble the football, and it's going to be dived after. Ryan Smith can't get to it, and a receiver for Morgan State almost had it. It rolls all the way to the end zone, all the way on the far right side, far left side, and somehow, thank goodness, the Eagles came away with it. Morgan State had a chance to score a touchdown there, and the Eagles will have it at the one-yard line. Kyle, I don't really know what really happened there. <laughs> that was a, that was one for the not top ten right there. That was fun to watch, but it was very uh, anxious moments there because several Morgan State players had a chance to pick it up and take it into the end zone, but it looked like it was Theo Livingston. for the Eagles. I know that's irrelevant. Here's the screen for Jazz King. He's got a seam as he breaks the tackle to the 50, the 45, 40, out of bounds at the 36 on the near side. Delonte Hall, the two DBs that the ball went between. Here's Bell across the middle of Wilkins. He's got room, 30, right side of the 25, out of bounds in first down territory, just in the Krispy Kreme red zone. The hot lights on once again, Eagle fans. Again, check out KrispyKreme.com for the nearest hot light sign in your area. Krispy Kreme Donuts is the official donut of NCCU Athletics. So second down and 10 from the 20. Bell time. He's going to be pressured. Pass nearly picked off, but somehow Jazz King came over with it. He's at the 20, 15, inside wow. the 10. How that wasn't a pick six, I don't know. Here's the draw hand off to Deontay Ride, right up the left hash. Touchdown, North Carolina Central. And the Eagles take the lead as Deontay Ride with his third career touchdown, first of the season, 9 7 the tally. How quickly things change. Five wide, now back to a four wide set. Deontay right to his right. Third and ten. There's Lanier making the catch there. Did he get enough for the first down? And I think he did. He did. It was a stop route to the near side. 
And he got it to the 45. That'll move the chains. And the youngster, 6'1", 205 freshman from Garner High School, gets the first down. Hey, we've had some rookie receivers making some big plays in this game. Brandon Galloway has been huge, and there's Lanier with a big first down conversion on third and ten. Five twenty-two to go here. It's second and ten from the forty-one. Bell back to throw again. He's going down the left side. It's up and caught wow. at the nineteen, rather the fourteen-yard line by Quinn Atkinson. They'll mark him at the thirteen. And again, the Eagles are in the Krispy Kreme red zone. Again, check out KrispyKreme.com as the hot light is on. Here's the rollout by Malcolm Bell. He's going to throw in the end zone to a wide open. Quinn Atkinson caught. Touchdown, North Carolina Central. Quinn Atkinson with a touchdown gives him three on the year. Malcolm Bell dialing up another touchdown as the Eagles lead it 16-7. to You want to show how much confidence Jerry Mack has in Malcolm Bell and his progression throughout the year. That is the same exact play that they called on a fourth down play against Towson. At the 41 yard line. This has been an exclusive presentation of the NCCU Sports Network.